<laughs> we have some things for you, some things to give you. <laughs> First, we have a gift from the children of the church. I have this message from Nancy Bidlock and Poppy Warren, the teachers of our children's Sunday school class with Pastor Kelly Ann. They say, Dear Bill and Deb, the children's Wednesday morning Zoom story time class would like to present you with special gifts straight from the hearts of our Zoomer. We'll give you a hint. Pastor Kellyanne told the children that Pastor Bill has a special collection of things like this in his office. The children found their own versions of these gifts outdoors and then personalized them so that you'll be reminded of each child whenever one of these gifts catches your eye. Virtual hugs to you both from our class. And you see they are, they are decorated stones, rocks, all from our children. So, that's why. Next, there is a gift from our youth. There is a gift from our youth, and they have a message to share with you, which I believe the Liberations want to share. Just a second. So here, in a minute, comes Lily. Okay, the youth group would like to thank you for your support over the years with the poem below. The Good Shepherd by Laura Smith. There was once a flock that was lost and afraid. It wandered around without direction for days. But the Lord looked down with compassion from above and sent a good shepherd to lead them with love. The shepherd was kind, loving, and wise, and he cherished his whole flock, no matter the color or the size. Though the shepherd was quiet, humble, and meek, every ear listened whenever he would speak. He showed them the way to walk in the light, and he prayed every day for God to give them true sight. He taught them about the blood of the Lamb, about the Creator, the great I Am. They flourished and they grew through the knowledge they gained about the Savior from above who lived without blemish or stain. The flock was so thankful to the Lord up above for sending a wise leader who was so full of love. He led them with a strong and gentle good hand and took the whole flock safely into God's promised land. The Merriam-Webster synonyms for a shepherd are coach, counsel, guide, lead, mentor, pilot, show, and tutor. Reverend Klein, you were all of these to the youth group and me, and we can never thank you enough. We hope you enjoy your retirement. <laughs> and the youth would like to present you with some gift certificates that might come in handy. <laughs> I have a message from 
Our dear friend Pam Lucky put this message together. Deb and Bill, you know how much this country. Kellyanne, we can't hear Bill. Have one when the time is right. Take two. Take two of this one. It gets better. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> You know how much this congregation loves to drink together in the lab auditorium. Whether it's for brunch, fantastic Thursday, a musical event like the handout, or a special occasion. It is getting better. In fact, we love to do this so much we must certainly be one of the few churches in the world with a designated director of culinary ministry. ministry. In light of that, you can understand how much it pains us that we could not have one last rollicking dinner to celebrate the quarter of a century leading Lexington Presbyterian Church. But that doesn't mean we won't have one when the time is right. So on behalf of your grateful congregation, I present you <laughs> with this promissory note for just that. One more rollicking done last dinner. And note, it's down there. We have already secured special dispensation from the presbytery. <laughs> to remind you that gluten-free options will be <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank now, you. I think we have my favorite baker to say something about another pre presentation too. Yeah, I'll speak on behalf of the session and uh, the rest of the congregation. Uh, is for a gift for Bill and Deb, uh, they already know about this. Um, a few years ago, Hardin Marion spearheaded an effort to set up a retirement fund uh, for Bill and Deb and asked the congregation to contribute to it. Everyone has been extremely generous. Um, over $80,000 has been donated to date um, to that retirement fund. The money has already been transferred into an account for the Kleins. Um, if anyone would still like to contribute, they still can. Um, send a, a check or, or uh, contribute online through the church. Just indicate on there that it's for the Klein Retirement Fund and it will be directed um, into that fund as well. Uh, Bill and Deb, we just wanna thank you both uh, for all the years of leadership, guidance, uh, friendship, wisdom, um, love, and everything that you've done for us and for this community. Um, we hope you both have a, a long and uh, uneventful retirement. Thank you, Mac. And y'all are so generous. Thanks for this car to this congregation. It's been a delight. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And now some of you may have known about this, so it's something that at least some of us have really been waiting for, uh, which is a slideshow. Mm -mm. No? We're sharing first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sharing? 
Um, so I will invite you in the order that your request was received. I just wanted to tell Bill and Deb that we put uh, an invitation out for folks to share memories and reflections. And some will be put in a mailbox later on and some will be done now based on their request. And so I am inviting a few folks forward for, uh, to share their thoughts and reflections. We will start first with the Humpkeys, and this will be a share screen. They sent in a video. So just give me one second. The Humpkins and Kleins decided to take part in a candlelight peace service at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. We hadn't anticipated the huge blizzard bearing down on the East Coast. I glanced at our speedometer. <laughs> you know it's bad. And it was bad, too. Poor visibility, snow accumulating and rutting the roads, and many of the drivers speeding home as quickly as they possibly could. The Strasburg exit was next, and we took it. With DC no longer a possibility, we took lodging at the historic Strasburg Hotel. We entered and were greeted warmly, and we were offered our choice of rooms. We took a pair of rooms on the top floor. They were corner rooms with a private alcove that we could close off between them. We ate dinner in the restaurant that evening. I don't remember what Deb and I had, but Paul and Bill had the host special. Grab it. After dinner, we went up to our little private alcove and we talked and we played cards. The next morning we had breakfast, scraped the car windows and headed back for Lexington. The silver lining was getting to know Bill and Deb better while spending a wonderful evening together. Amen. Now I invite Miss Ruth Floyd to unmute. So Bill and Deb, I have so many memories um, of your time with us, um, but one stands out for me, especially now um, when my sister Susan Hogg passed away in 2011, you came from Lexington to Richmond to participate in her memorial service. And your words were so eloquent, so comforting. Your gentle, humble spirit has always touched me and touched our family. After you spoke, my sister's son, Colin, who was then 15 years old, was scheduled to read a scripture. So he came up to the pulpit and he said, you're a tough act to follow, <laughs> which, which really um, set the mood for his next, for his scripture and um, was very touching. Um, and those words for me now uh, ring true. I know that God has a plan for our church and um, I am hopeful for that and look forward to it. But whomever God calls to our church, you are going to be a tough act to follow. We love you. Thank you, Miss Ruth. I invite, sorry, I invite David and uh, Mary Dugan, please, to unmute. Hi, Deb and Bill. You have just ministered to us so well. Legion are the stories we could tell of how you have affected our lives in positive ways. From the first day we met you at breakfast in Dunlap Auditorium, when you rattled off almost everyone's name, we knew your time with us was going to be special, and it has been. 
from sermons that challenge us to see the kingdom of God in our midst, from settling families from war-torn Bosnia and Sudan, to laughter from crazy antics at the fantastic Thursdays. We have been, you have been our joy. We are so grateful for your love, your ministry, and your friendship. We love you, Deb and Bill. Amen. I invite Mac and Mary Beth Baker to unmute. Mary Beth, do you want to go first? Sure. I think you're going first. <laughs> there you are. There you are. Oh, okay. Bill and Deb, I tell you, it's been such a privilege and we thank you for helping, supporting us as we moved here and raising a family. We really appreciate the fact that you always had time to stop and visit, whether we be walking home from school or popped into your office one day after school or Deb coming over and having tea when I had two toddlers that I was very homebound with. We really appreciate it. The one memory um, that Ellie and I would like to share was one Sunday, I mean, excuse me, one summer we were at Montreat. And I think Ellie was about maybe 12 or 13 at the time. And you suggested, Bill, that we do a sunrise hike to see the sunrise from the top of Lookout Mountain. And it surprised me, but Ellie said, I'm all game. And when you knocked on the door at Odark 800, she willingly got up and hiked straight up to the top of Lookout Mountain to enjoy the sunrise and the view from there with you. And we just thank you for how you've helped us to grow our faith and our family. And we love you and thank you. Amen. Mac. All right. Um, I was going to tell everybody the, the story of when we first met Bill. Um, Mary Beth and I moved to Lexington in 2004. Ellie was um, seven months old at the time. She was just a, a toddler. Um, and we came to church uh, one Sunday. They were meeting in Dunlap. Um, and Bill walked up to us immediately, introduced himself. And I said, well, I'm Mac Baker. This is my wife, Mary Beth, and our daughter, Ellie. And his first words were, oh, are you the folks from Martinsville? Um, which is where <laughs> I grew up. And needless to say, Mary Beth and I were a little bit freaked out at first <laughs> by that. Uh, you know, thought maybe, uh, you know, this guy is, is really connected to somebody upstairs um, to be able to get that immediately just from looking at us. Uh, the, found out later the actual story of it, a little bittersweet at this time right now that um, my mother is a retired science teacher and was on a, a board for a science museum with Ray Carpenter. And she had told Ray that we were moving to Lexington and Ray had told Bill to be on the lookout for us. Um, and so the, it's a good memory of, of Ray at this time as well. Um, but Bill and Deb, again, just thank you for everything you've done for us over the years. Um, it has truly been a blessing in our lives. I invite Miss Ellie Baker. Here she comes. My mom shared for me. That was. Oh, okay. All right. All right. No problem. I had you on. Whoops. All right. The... Miss Helen Fury. Bill and Deb, you have served us so well through your faith, your wisdom and compassion, and your devotion to this congregation and community. Now we must let you go to your little cottage on Buffalo Creek. It is time for the next chapter of your life in Christ. As families and individuals in this congregation, we must move on inspired by your example, however bereft of your loving presence. We will look to new leadership, though the memory of your faithful service 
will continue to guide us always. Uh, amen. Thank you both so much. We love you so much. I invite Michael and Lynn. Well, I wanted to share my first memory of Bill, but I don't remember it. But I remember it. <laughs> Probably I met him after church, but the second time, I was walking briskly south on North Main Street, and Bill was walking briskly north. And so far as I knew, Bill didn't know me from Adam's house cat. But I looked up and said, hi. And Bill didn't miss a beat. He called me by name. It was a little glimpse into the, mem the, the ministry of Bill and De Deb Klein um, that they could call us each by name. I imagine many of you had the same experience. We're going to miss you. Thank you. Mazel tov. <laughs> I invite Ms. Phyllis Parker. Am I on? Okay. Hi. Um, I, uh, Bill and Deb, you've meant so much to me, and I'm going to try to be cool. Um, but I want to thank you for your family. I had the privilege of teaching each of your unique and special children, and uh, they, <laughs> they brought so much joy to my life. And you guys have been there for me in the various adventures that I have taken, um, taken on. Um, I remember when I went to Iraq and how lonely, uh, I mean, I was thrilled to be there, but it was a lonely, lonely time. And you arranged for um, the services for the, 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 the sermons to come to me. And that, that actually really helped carry me through that, those times. Um, and you've supported me in my various adventures and travels. Uh, and most recently, I mean, there's so many things I could say, but most recently, I want to thank you for the Zoom baptism of my uh, youngest grandson youngest grandchild in Australia, that uh, that was really a, a, a very personal, very touching time and moment. Uh, it covered God knows how many time zones and uh, all over the United States and in South America and, and all over Flor Australia. Uh, it was pretty special. And, uh, and you guys are pretty special. And I will tell you that when I retired, I worried about um, retirement because I identified so much with my teaching and I've never looked back. It's been wonderful. So, um, l'chaim. <laughs> now I invite Miss Liz Shoup. I won't tell Bill uh, the story about Bill taking my comments the day I was supposed to help in service. That's okay. But Deb and Bill, Bill and Deb, your names are interconnected. You served Lex Pres for 25 years and surpassed all that was ever expected. Calm, constant, listening hearts, humor shared when needed, an ease of personality, fun to be around, and ability to keep our feet on the ground. Heart, soul, mind, and strength is how you love your God. And by your example, we are stronger. Your departure from our midst makes us sad. Selfishly, we wish you would remain longer. Words are the only way the Shoops can say. Thank you for being there through stroke and tree. Wishing you much laughter, joy, and love. Having known you, blessed are we. We love you. Next, I'd like to invite Miss Faith Pino. Is that how you say it? Pino, Miss Faith Pino. 
Thank you. And Bill and Deb, I am so grateful to be able to join you on celebrating this amazing occasion, 25 years of ministry, um, all the way out here from California. Um, I have two little memories that I will never forget. One was on probably a particularly rough day of college at WNL, and I was just super down and out. Um, and I was walking down, I think, Lee Avenue, and I saw Bill on the corner, and he just stopped, and in his Bill way, just went, oh, like, I was the greatest surprise he had seen that day, which he is the way he greets every single person he comes across, and he just enveloped me in a big, warm hug, and everything bad from that day just melted away, um, and the other memory I have is of Deb. One time, we were talking about, um, I think, like, love and soulmates, and um, <laughs> Deb, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you and Bill had only dated like three months before you got engaged. Is that right? Something crazy. No yeah, offense. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? How did you know to, how did you agree to that? And you said, well, when you just know, you know. And I think that that was such an example of Deb's groundedness and centeredness and the, honestly, the warmth that's at the center of y'all's ministry. So thank you so much for your hearts. We miss you and I love you. I invite Philip Cooling to come up. Cowling. Cowling. Cousin Philip. Cousin. That's Bill's cousin. Cousin. So Bill uh, married Sandra and me um, almost eight years ago. Uh, counseled us before our wedding, um, and we were grateful and honored to be able to participate in the first marriage class that y'all offered. How to be married class. Um, <laughs> the mass. Um, the, the night that my father died, uh, both Bill and Deb came over to Kindle uh, right away to be with my mother and me and then uh, crafted a lovely um, memorial service for him just a few weeks later. Um, I, there's so many memories that I have of the two of you, um, but I think there's one that, that stands above the rest, um, uh, at least uh, for you, Bill. Um, a number of years ago, before I had moved back to Lexington, uh, I was here visiting uh, for Christmas, and uh, my parents and I, uh, got to Lex Prez for the Christmas Eve service uh, relatively late um, and we grabbed uh, a seat in the very back row of the sanctuary right in front of a radiator and it was just blisteringly hot. <laughs> my father got a little lightheaded and almost passed out and uh, so we slipped out of the sanctuary um, and uh, took him over to, to Stonewall Jackson and when I knew that, that he was going to be okay, uh, I came back to Lex Prez uh, just so that I could let uh, Bill know what had happened in case he had seen us um, leave in the middle of the service. Um, and so I caught him afterwards and I told him what happened. And then, then I went back over to Stonewall Jackson. And minutes later, Bill showed up at the emergency room on Christmas Eve. <laughs> And that says so much about the person you are and the pastor you have been to this church and this congregation. You've meant so much to my family. You have meant so much to this congregation. You have meant so much to this community. And I wish you Godspeed, cousin. And cousin, as my father used to like to refer to Deb. And we're so <laughs> glad that you're going to remain uh, a part of this community. I invite Miss Ann Massey. I can get to my... You got it. You so got it. Yeah. You got Hi, it, Bill and Deb. Um, one thing I've always appreciated that came through, especially in a number of Bill's sermons, uh, Bill and and it's true of Deb too. Your respect for other religions and people who follow 
different traditions from ours. That was really apparent to us uh, in a personal way when our son married a woman from a Hindu background. And Bill officiated at that wedding, which was lovely, lots of beautiful saris, among other things. Uh, and he was very uh, willing to incorporate some elements from her tradition if she wished. That turned out not to happen, but it was just a lovely uh, attitude of his. And then we had that wonderful multi-faith service last fall with all of the major religions of the world represented, uh, held in our church upstairs in Dunlap Auditorium when the Muslim Imam from Georgetown came to visit. I think philosophically, theologically, and uh, what my husband calls the Jesus of the big tent. Uh, I really appreciate and love that attitude and love both of you. Thank you. I now invite Rich and Nancy Bidlock. Greetings, Deb and Bill. Uh, July 18, 2000. Uh, like so many people in Lexington, I uh, rushed downtown when I heard the sirens. And I remember standing next to you, Bill. And what really impressed me as the smoke came out of the steeple and the flames and it toppled into the courtyard was how incredibly calm you were. I, I was just very surprised. And I suspect that what was going on in your mind was you were thinking how you're going to lead this congregation in the days, weeks, months, and years to come. Uh, and what you impressed upon us so much was the church is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with the church. An old historic beloved building had burned uh, because as you told us so many times, both you and Deb, that the church is the people. And we became closer and stronger as a result. And now in this uh, time of coronavirus, when we're physically separated, you have helped keep us spiritually one, spiritually together. And that's deeply inspiring. So thank you for 25 years, both you and Deb, for your inspiring leadership in this church and blessings in retirement. All the best. We love you. Thank you. I just wanted to take a few moments. I said a little bit the other day at staff meeting, but I have felt nothing but welcome since I've been here in November. I appreciated the invitation. You and I know there was a lot going on with my invitation here, but I felt called to fill a role and you needed help. And it, it was a meeting of the minds and I am so grateful. And I want to share this because I have witnessed something between the two of you that is incredible. You mentioned it earlier when you said it's been a gift to serve in ministry together. Well, you are an amazing couple of love. And the presence that you have together is so inspirational, not only for ministry, but how we be in relationship with one another. I see give and take and laughter. And by the way, Bill did throw the cup out of her practice and held up the, the table communion, forced it around, and it was just awesome. And Debbie Giggle is infectious. And every time he makes you laugh, it's a special kind of giggle that I can hear. And so as you go forth into this retirement, I just want to say thank you. And enjoy this new journey and I hope we get to see each other often and I know as well on behalf of the congregation we'll all remain friends in one way or another because the spirit is powerful. Thank you Kelly. Thank you Kelly. Thanks to all of you. Thank <laughs> you.
conversation talk. Well, it's hard to know what to say. Thank you all so very, very much. Um, it's, it's been tremendous. It's and been it's tremendous. Been. And as I've said before, if we could do it all again, we would. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now for the final treat. Don't get up. One more. <laughs> One more thing. I don't like to be the spotlight. Well, you know what? Today you are. All right. Let me share this screen. We have a slideshow to show you. And I've seen a lot of its earlier versions, so I'm really excited to see it too. So. Here we go. <laughs> Good heavens.
Well, I invite everyone now to unmute yourselves as, oh yeah, oh, I, we have one more surprise. We've had so many surprises. We have one more surprise. Bill told me he was the last surprise, so <laughs> we have one more. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to unmute you, so we can hear. It'll be a solo. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right. You're on. You are. You are. <laughs> okay. So. If you were the only one that those transmissions you got, even the late one, you have some music so you can sing along where you are and somewhere up there in the heavenly spheres, this will all come together and be the best ensemble of choir ever on the Hallelujah Court. There you go, I'll make sure you're muted. Oh, he's going to mute us. She's down. She said. I think Did he say it on you? Oh, I'm making sure you're muted. I'll make sure you're muted. All right. Hold on one second, everyone. You need to get down. <laughs> All right. I got to go find Nick music. <laughs> What? what? You're good. You can stay with
Everyone unmute and clap. The bell is ringing. Give you waves to Bill and Deb. The bell, the bell is ringing outside the church. Oh, that's great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Thank you. 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 I don't want to. <laughs> the Johnsons. Your, your phone went off. We don't even know how. <laughs> hey. Thank you all so much. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. It's time to go get in. All right. Yeah. Again, we go. Okay. I guess we are. They are off for another surprise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Bye. 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 For now. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. 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 Mommy, are you still there? <laughs> Bye, Mommy, if you're there. <laughs> I think we should leave, don't you? Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Hell yeah. Where's this picture?